Hi everyone, it's Nicole and I'm here to work on So Many Books, So Little Time by Diamond Art Club. It is a 56 by 109 or 22 by 43 inches. It's got 53 colors. I have maybe an eighth <laughs> of it complete. And today we're gonna to start with Y, which is on the side here. And it's DMC 797. And it's almost empty. But that's okay. We'll go as far as we can and then I'll go look for the extras. So today is a beautiful sunny day. I forgot to check how cold it is though. I would love to start walking again, but I'm not a cold person. Like I don't like the cold at all. <laughs> Like even right at this very second, like my feet are freezing and I'm indoors. And I'm like, how are my feet freezing? It's not cold in here. It is 70 degrees, like that's pretty warm. <laughs> so I don't know, I just, my feet get cold. I just don't like being cold. Usually we'll start our walks like at the end of March because usually the minus craziness is over. So I'm hoping it would be nice if it would start being nice clo um, sooner than that. But also there's snow on the road and it's, I don't know, I don't feel comfortable walking if the roads are slippery, because then a car could just hit you. I just realized I have my wrong glasses to do this and I'm gonna end up with a headache. Much better, less eye strain. So I thought maybe last week I would be able to get two days in with diamond painting. Life is just too busy, man. <laughs> I wish I had extra time but and there's the problem is it's where you want to put your time right and I also love reading so you know where I spent an hour or two reading I could have been diamond painting so if I wasn't reading I could also do that I love reading so I'm not going to give that up for sure Oh my goodness, I finished The Winners by Frederick Bachman. When was it? Yesterday? Yesterday. I had 100 pages left. I didn't think I was going to finish yesterday, but it was so good. Of course, the last 100 pages, right? Like everything comes... Oh, I just spilt all my diamonds. Everything comes to, you know... the crazy part of the book. So I just could not put it down. And I finished it. And I can tell you, I cried and cried. I, could, I couldn't even see the words on the page. <laughs> I love the book, but oh my goodness, why? <laughs> I won't spoil it in case you, have, you know, are reading that series and but why, man, did I cry. It's about hockey, of course. Love it, love it. So good. You just, you know, when I find when it's a series, you just fall in love with the characters, you know, and I could read about them doing laundry and I would probably still love it. <laughs> just because I love the characters so much, I just want to be in their world reading about them, you know? So, I enjoyed that book. What else did I finish? I finished Emily Wilde's Encyclopedia of Fairies, I think it's called. 
It was okay, I gave it 3.75. Like I liked it more and more the more I read it. Um, like I wanna read the second book for sure. I already put a hold on it at the library and it just came out and I asked for it to give me like a notice so that I could go right away and put a hold and it didn't. So by the time I did, it is now a 20 weeks hold, 20 weeks. That's five months, man. So, I mean, whatever. I have other books I wanna read and I don't wanna pay for it, right? So the goal this year is to not spend money on books, like I think I said 10 books, and one's coming in at the end of the month, and it is a Sarah, Sarah J. Mass. And I have the other two books, so I, I was like, well, I want the third one. I haven't even started that series. It's on my to be read this year. Which one is it? It's the her latest one, anyway. So. And I think I have one book left to read from the Akatar series, the very last one. So I have that book on my TBR to read this year. I have a lot of big books that I want to read. And I'm like, okay, how am I going to do that? You know, I want to read 100 books, but a lot of books I want to read are like six and 700 pages. Like that takes a while to read. <laughs> I mean, if you do 100 pages a day, it's still seven days, right? And I don't have time every day to read, seven, you know, 100 pages. Some days I do. A lot of days I don't. I think today I should. Um, I read over 100 pages yesterday because I had time. I did a few videos I cleaned up a little bit and then I already had supper done. So it's like, that's the biggest thing, right? That's at least an hour that I didn't have to get supper done. So hello. Yes. Yay. 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 So I was able to read for a couple of hours yesterday. So that was good. It's good because the day before, I don't think I read at all. So, you know, some day or maybe 20 pages or something. So some, some days I get, you know, 20 pages done. And then some days I get 180 pages done like I did yesterday because I did 100 in the winners. And I think I did about 50 on Imagine Me, which is the sixth book in the Shatter Me series. Oof, this is hard going in. In the Shatter Me series. And then I wanted to start a new book because again, I got it from the library and it has 650 pages or something, 600 and something anyway. It's the Fragile Threads of Power by V.E. No, is it V.E. Schwab? Yeah, I think it's V.E. Schwab. No, yes. Maybe V.E. Schwab, yes. And so <laughs> I have 10 days left. That book was only supposed to come in in maybe 12 weeks or something. And everybody must have pushed it and said, not now, not now, because it's such a big book. <laughs> and I probably would have done that too. If I would have known it was that big, I had no idea. So I said, oh, great, you know, I'm about half, 200 pages in the winners. So, you know, a 400 page book, if I have 10 days or so, I'll have lots of time. And then I open it up and it's like 600 and some, and I'm like, oh, yikes. So now I have to read 70 pages a day if I wanna get it done. And I don't want to have to buy it. And I don't want that I only have like 100 pages left and I, it like gets returned or whatever. Because it's an ebook, so it's not as if I can go, oh well, I'll just bring it one day late, you know. Or wait till the very end of the day that it's due or whatever to bring it. It has a time. And when that time comes, it's like, poof, it's gone. 
So, and I think I only read ooh, maybe 40 pages yesterday and it should have been, no, 70 pages with, it was with nine days. So it's, it's, it's fine. I, I'm a little bit maybe ahead or whatever. So today I'm going to read at least 70 pages. And if I can, maybe a hundred, and then I'll read a little bit less from Imagine Me. Because that one I have a couple days more than I do Fragile Threads of Power. And it's because I love that series and I I just wanted like um, an easy read, you know what I mean? While I was reading the winners. So I'm hoping to finish that. I'm about 130 pages in and it's 300 and some, so probably three more days. And then I'll start reading another one. I think right now I'm at seven books, seven books. So I'm hoping to read three more because that one is pretty big. It's almost, you know, 650, so. And we're the 20 third today so I have like eight days left nine days left nine days left including today so if I read three more books I'll be happy it what it's nothing like last year I think that in January I read like 18 books <laughs> something crazy but I never I didn't read two books at 650 so if you think 350 average that would be four books instead of two, right? So right there, that's two more books. So it would be I would be at 12 or something. And I think another book I read was almost 500 pages. Like they're all big books, only a couple of little ones. And we finished Game of Thrones. Oh, that was good too. That was good too. And now we're watching House of the Dragon, and that only has 10 episodes, and we're starting episode three, I think. And the new the new season is coming in summer of 2024. But we're my subscription is canceling in April. And I'm just not gonna, you know, not gonna renew it or whatever. And then I'll just do one month when I'm ready. To watch the one season. What we should do is catch up on our Paramount Plus 2. I need to cancel that because I did I did that subscription for Yellowstone and then we watch 1863 and then we watch 1923 and now we're watching the Lawman of something, which is related. Same world, just way before. And that's just being released weekly. So we should go see, just kind of catch up and maybe cancel for a few months until all the seasons are there. Or when the last episodes of Yellowstone comes on. Oh. Um, and then I saw that Chicago Med, Chicago Fire, Chicago PD, they all started posting or posting <laughs> new episodes are airing. So, yay. I don't know if I mentioned, but I finished the entirety of Friends, all 10 seasons. It was so good. I cried though, cause Matthew Perry. But I've been wanting to rewatch it for years. And that again is on Crave. So I wanted to watch it before my Crave subscription ended. So that was two things I wanted to watch, you know, um, Game of Thrones and that. And then I was like, oh yeah, House of the Dragon. It wasn't on my list, but then I remembered, so. It's like, yes. 
So that was good. Oh, and today I cut the plastic off of there because, oh my goodness, that was annoying. The last time, I'm sorry about that. I didn't realize how noisy that was. So it's gone. So I'm happy about that. I should just finish that, but I have like 10, 10 diamond paintings or diamonds left. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna finish it. And today before I put everything away, I will refill that container. So refill that container. So next time, cause we'll probably do this one and there's still gonna be some, some Ys left. It's hard to get them to flip over when there's just a few, right? I saw a few people, they were putting um, washi tape at the end and it said something about it helps them align or something. So I don't know, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I don't find like I diamond paint enough for me to, you know, look for hacks or anything like that. Like I do an hour a week. An hour a week. I'm on the Diamond Art Club uh, Facebook group and the addiction is real. Okay, we're gonna go with number four. It's number 29 or the case 29. And this one is full, so yay. 28, I'll leave it open, like out, so I remember to refill it. And that is DMC 798. So we'll do number four. I wonder if I should do a few. Uh, I was gonna do a few with the back, but I took out a new pen today and the back wasn't on there, so it's away from the pen. I'll have to get like um, a tool to try to push it in there. I can't do it with my hands. So I don't know if it'll work really well or if it might break the end of my pen or something because it's, it's not loose, but it's not in all the way. So I usually don't pick up three at a time because eh, I'm doing this for fun. So it's not as if I'm trying to rush and finish this diamond painting. Although I'll, I'll say that I'm hoping I'm finishing this this year. I can't believe I didn't finish my sentence. I hope I finish this this year. I can't believe people like start a new one like this and they finish it within weeks, like three or four weeks and they have it all done. Whew. But again, they, that might be their only hobby. So they just, that's their hobby. I have other hobbies. I scrapbook, I read books, you know, I like cooking, I like to make stuff. So I don't like cooking every day. I'll have to say I don't like cooking every day, um, but I like cooking. I just don't, I find, I don't like cooking when I'm rushed or when I don't know what I want to do. If I know what I want to do, then I like cooking. Today again, my supper's done because I kind of meal prep this weekend. I just cooked a bunch of hamburgers with taco spice. So we had wraps and today we're gonna have taco salad. So yay, yay for that. I might have to cut some tomatoes. Oh, and olives and that's it. So woohoo, tomorrow I'll have to cook unless there's hamburger left, but then maybe Dave can use it at lunch and finish it with wraps and stuff. 
so so I'll probably have to figure something out for tomorrow. Maybe a roast. I haven't done a roast in a long time. That would be good. That would be good. Oh, I have to eat. We have to eat uh, our veggies. We have a bunch of veggies. I like to cut up a bunch of veggies and roast them in the oven. Well, I could do that with a roast though. Yeah, I could do that with a... So that's what I'll do tomorrow because we have um, cauliflower and peppers and mushrooms and onions and the onions and carrots are okay. And we us I usually put a few baby potatoes. Most of them are veggies, so less carbs. And then I put a few potatoes just because we like potatoes. I just don't want to put a lot. So we'll do that tomorrow to make sure we eat those veggies. And then that should finish up the cauliflower. It should finish up the mushrooms. It won't finish up the peppers, but I find the peppers last a little longer. And I think maybe, oh, I was gonna say Friday, I'm gonna do a spaghetti sauce, but I can't because Mason has a hockey tournament again this weekend. So he's got a game on Friday and usually we might as well just put a whole day because then he says, you know, oh, can we watch some other teams play? And so our whole day is just spent at the rink. <laughs> Just like this past Sunday, he had a game. And then the AAA team, they're called the Flyers. It's like under 18. They had a game. You have to pay to get in and everything. Like it's, so he knows like, well, he doesn't know them, but he knows their brothers. Like two, a kid that was on his team last year, his brother, ooh, that is so crooked. His brother plays on um, the team and a kid on his team this year, his brother plays on the team. So, so we stayed, so is, we know we got there at 10 in the morning and then we got home at five. <laughs> Cause those games, it started at one and it only finished at like four or something. It's like three hours. Oh. Our Sunday was totally shot. I was going to film some videos and try to get ahead on Sunday. And nope. By the time we get home, I was, one, frozen. And two, pooped. There we go. I think I, I started really late today. I think it was 10.30. Usually I like to start at 9. But... I want to make those hats, those bot baseball caps for the hockey team. Start them today. I don't know. I don't think I'll be able to finish them today, but start them. And um, so I printed the stuff because it needs to be printed like the sublimation, it needs to be printed for at least 15 minutes. So I'm like, you know what? I'll print it before, then I'll come and do this. And then I have to film one video. So I'll film another video. And then I'll work on doing the hats for them. So what I decided to do is, I was gonna try and sublimate directly on the hat but a lot of videos I watched, they said that it was awful. Like it would not sublimate right because of the texture and like in the center of the hat, like there's a seam. So it like it didn't sublimate right and all this stuff. And I'm like, oh my goodness, like those hats are like three or four dollars, four dollars maybe $5. Anyway, a lot each. <laughs> and then I got some that they said it worked better, 
But when I got them in, they looked so cheap. Like even the closing looked cheap. Like these ones here are better quality. So what I did was I got little patches and I'm gonna put the patch on. Now I read that there was some issues with the patch, the sides lifting. So they said to get glue and glue it down on the edges. So I got that. So I'm all set up to do it. And of course now I want it for Friday. Uh, and here we are Tuesday. So I'm going to have to dedicate probably an entire afternoon to just that. But if I can get the patches done today, and then I have to change something on my heat press, like you need to put the press for the hats. So I'll get Dave to do that tonight, put that on tonight. And then tomorrow I'll do the rest because for the patch, you need the regular <clears throat> heat press and then for the hat, you need the heat press for the hat. So, well, we'll get it done. We'll get it done. So we'll do this. This afternoon. And I think while I'm doing that, I'll listen to one of my audio books. I usually have an audiobook going all the time. And most times I'll also have like either the physical book or the um, ebook. And I'll follow along. It's just that I'm so exhausted that I just can't, it just forces me to concentrate. I still read it, but I'm also also listening to it. It's, it's weird. But when I'm doing something, it's nice, like cleaning and stuff, it's nice to have an audiobook too. It just doesn't make it, you know, as boring. At least you're listening to something. I think I'm going to start The Wheel of Time, the third, fourth book, third book, whatever book I'm on. Um, I'm going to start that one too, which again, that's like a, I don't know, 800 book, 800 page book or something crazy. So it's gonna help to have the audiobook for that one. Cause I also wanna read Iron Flame in February. I had put it for January, but where the other one came in from the library, I kind of have a, a time limit for that. And the other one, I, I own the book, so I can push it back. It's funny because I, I used to be a big, big reader when I was a kid. Like when I learned how to read, I remember um, this was in grade two though. So I'd known how to read for a bit, but I would read like entire books like every night. Yes, the books were, you know, smaller or whatever. But then the teacher said, okay, you're ready to move on to like bigger you know, bigger books. So then we started going to the library and I would come home and I would read, you know, I would bring home six books and I would have them done like in, in a week. <laughs> and then the next week when we'd go to the library, I'd get six more and I would read all that. And then when I got to university, um, <clears throat> I stopped reading, maybe even little less in high school. I still read, but not as much. I always had a book on the go, but no, I didn't read as much because of course you have way more studying to do and all that stuff. So, so we're going to do number nine now, which is 796, which is container 27. Um, so I, I read a little less. And then when I got to university, I didn't read it all because that was a lot of studying and I just didn't have the bandwidth to study. So read, 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 you know, and then also read. So I stopped reading and I didn't read for years and years and years. And then when my kids were little and I would sit outside and watch them play, then I started to read again and then I got obsessed again and I would read, read, read. 
and then I stopped again. And then when I started at 911, um, one of the only things that we were allowed to do was read. So I would read books. So I would read books. So I started the obsession again. And then after a while, you know, we were always so short staff and so I would only get like not even a paragraph read. And so I, I just stopped reading at work too because it was just too hard. I couldn't concentrate. <clears throat> so now we're going to go to V. So then I stopped reading again, which is uh, DMC 890. I stopped reading again. And then in 2016, and I know because I started Goodreads. And the very first book I read when I started again was the first book in the Akatar series. And it's fun now to go back and because of Goodreads, I can go back and see exactly, you know, how many books I read. And I think I started, I think it was like in February, so it wasn't really January. So I think I had put like 24 books to read or whatever at first, you know, as my goal. I ended up reading 72 books, which was pretty good from going from not reading at all for years and years and going to 72. And then every year since then, I've read 100. No, two years ago, I read 85. Two years ago, I had a rough year. Rough year in everything. I don't know. I was struggling, I think, with my hand. I was having a hard time because... There's a lot of stuff I couldn't do because of my hand. And I think I just, and I mean, I didn't need my hand to read. But if you're not in the right space, like if your head is not in the right space, there's a lot of things that get affected, right? So I think I read 85 books, which is still good. Still really good. <laughs> Nothing wrong with 85 books. And last year I had you know, 22 books ahead in August. And then I read my 100th book on December 26th or something. Like I just stopped reading at the end of August or in August sometime. I don't know why, I just stopped reading. I was reading like two books a month or something. <clears throat> two to four books a month. So I'm glad January, I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to get on a schedule a little bit more, you know, like get up in the morning, uh, do my videos. And I used to edit in the afternoon. And then I didn't get much other done. Editing takes quite a bit of time, which I mean, it's it's getting something done. But, but then I didn't have the energy to do anything else. So now I'm trying to leave the editing till the very end of the day, like not do editing at one o'clock or two o'clock. I'm starting now at like 4.35 and then I edit into the evening. And I I film, oh, I film all, all the hockey games for Mason too. Those editing is not, it's not very hard because I just move it to iMovie, I mute it. But then I, I move it to Facebook right away. Like there's a face, Facebook group for the team. So the parents that weren't able to go or whatever, they get to see the game in a timely fashion. Like usually within two hours of us getting home, I have two to three hours, I have it uploaded on the Facebook group. But then I also make, okay, now we're going to go with O. Um, which I use the same video, but I uploaded to YouTube unlisted. And then I'm making a PDF file. So then at the end of the season, I am going to post the PDF. I did it before Christmas. They have that one PDF file. All the games before Christmas are on there. And now I'm doing after Christmas. And uh, so, you know, after the last game, I'm going to do all the games and then send, I'll upload the PDF file on the Facebook group and it'll be done. So I'm trying to keep up on that. 
because before Christmas, what happened, it wasn't really my fault because I got sick and I couldn't go to one of the tournaments. And it took a while before I got the videos, uh, you know, just life, right? And so when I got the videos, I had so much to do. And so I got it all done. It took me like an entire weekend. So I'm like, oh, that's never happening again. I got to do it right away. So now I'm doing it right away, but I'm uploading it two places and creating that PDF. So And a weekend like this weekend where they're going to have a ton of games, it takes quite a bit of time, right? But I think what I'm going to do is like Friday, they have one game. As soon as I get home, I'm going to do that game, upload it to Facebook, upload it to, you know, YouTube and put it, the link on the PDF and just keep doing that. Plus the coaches use the videos as they look at the videos and then they, they know, okay, well, this is what we need to work on. And they base their, their, um, like tonight they're having a practice. Well, they base their practice on watching the videos. So the sooner I put it up, then they can work on doing that. So <clears throat> that's worked out good. That's worked out good. Okay. So L is... L is what, 51? And it is DMC 3799. I'm looking if there's other L's there. There isn't. Wow. Because I was going to pour more into it and do some more. But I guess I don't need it. Oh, that one there. There's something wrong with it. It's like, it doesn't have an extra bird, actually has a piece missing out of it. Okay, In there. Let's make sure. Okay, now we'll do number eight. Number eight is number 14, 14 or eight? 14, which is DMC 413. And I don't think there's any other ones either. Wow. Okay. We might venture on to another section because I think it's only been half an hour. Maybe a little bit more, but it's not been close. It's not been an hour. And I want to do at least an hour. I need to get some of these done. So let's do number two is number two, which is not my favorite one to do at all. So we'll just do a few of those. We'll do those and maybe a few of the other ones. I don't like to do too many because um, maybe I'll just do these because I want something to stick. I want this to be able to stick to something. So I'm not going to do that because I'm going to work on these little sections down here. So it'll have that big one to stick to. Okay, P is really <clears throat> sticking out to me. So that's number 11. It's a light blue. Oh, there's a red in there. And that is PPP number 11, 334. I like to double check just because. I think it's happened once that I made a mistake. It's like, oh, I left it because it was like, there's no way I could even know where it is. It's not like cross stitch, right? Like cross stitch, you have like a pattern that you can go back and see. Guys, I am still coughing. We're talking like four or five weeks later, oh, if not more. It's crazy. So, and it's as soon as I start talking too much, I start coughing. Or I find at night, it, like it gets really dry. So I don't know if I sh should put a humidifier in my room or something and 
put humidity in the air because oof, it's uh, it's waking me up. It's waking me up. So maybe we'll finish this little section here. We'll finish this little section here. Oh. Oh my goodness. On the weekend, like I said, Mason had a game on Sunday and Mason has the most penalty minutes on his team. He's a big kid. A lot of times it's not that he did anything. I'll admit there's a few times it's like, yeah, buddy, you deserve that. Like, you know, <laughs> but a lot of times he'll be just standing there and a player will skate into him and fall and he gets a penalty. But we're like, don't stop playing. You like, you're not intentionally like hurting the players. You're just a big kid. You're going to get a lot of penalties. So anyway, one of the kids of their team shot the puck down the ice. And if it goes from their end to our end, that's called icing. But as a player, you still have to, you know, skate hard because if they beat you to the puck, um, they might wave off the icing. So anyway, Mason was skating hard to the puck and the ref like blew the whistle to call the icing. And then all of a sudden he's blowing the whistle like hard, like like three or four times and he Mason turns around like what the heck and the ref goes pointing in his direction you you're out of here and you see because I film you see in the video that Mason points at his chest and goes me like what did I do like he always gets blamed for stuff right that he didn't do He's like, me? Like, you're out of here. Like, you're off the ice, right? And he's like, I wasn't even close to a player. That's what he's, like, I asked him after. He was like, I was like, what is going on? Apparently, there was, not apparently, there was a parent from the other team that was in the stands, and he was, like, belligerent, and he was swearing at the ref and everything. So I guess it was, he did it quite a few times. And the ref was like, that's it. This is the third time you're out of here. And then the parent didn't want to leave. So he was like, we're not starting this game again until you leave. And then he walked over to the coach and he's like, from the other team. And he's like, if, if he doesn't leave, I'm giving you guys a penalty, which they can. Like a bench minor. Like you have to have control, man. <laughs> the parents, come on. It's, it's under 11. Jeez Louise. But anyway, so poor Mason, he thought, what did I do now? <laughs> I was skating towards the buck. There wasn't even a player around me. So we kind of, and you hear me in the video going, oh my gosh, I thought he was throwing Mason out. And everybody was like, me too. Everybody thought so. It was kind of like, and he kind of pointed towards Mason and not up in the stands. So I'm like, well, that wasn't kind of nice because he freaked out a 10 year old. Do you know what I mean? Oh, oh, there's peas up there, but I'm not going to do those. He freaked out a, an 11 year old or a 10 year old. He's almost 11. He freaked out like a kid. Like that's not good. That's not good. And then before the game, he walked over to the bench and he said to the coaches, <clears throat> he said, um, I will not take crap from you guys and you better just be the coach, talk to us. And I, the last time you guys played each other, you were really rough and I'm not going to put up with it. So we're pretty sure he had the wrong team because that never happened. Like our coaches never chirp like never get after the refs for a call. They never, like, they're really good. So I don't know if it was like another U11 or it might've been U13 or, so our coach is like, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, 
our last game was yesterday and it with them and it wasn't rough. Like, I don't, I don't know what you mean. <laughs> so anyway, so he already had, I don't know, like, um, almost like a prejudice against us. You know what I mean? Like maybe something bad did happen with another team, but it wasn't us, you know? So I think he was already upset when he got on the ice. So it wasn't good. And we, I can tell you, he gave us way more penalty minutes than them. And there's a lot of times they, de they deserve some. So I was like, I don't know what's going on. But anyway, hockey, fun, fun, fun. It's so political, so political at all ages. It's not just the NHL that's political. <laughs> Even under 11, U11, U9, like it's so, so bad. But we love the sport so much, but we got really blessed this year with really really good coaches really good coaches really good families the kids are having a good year so it's good it's good for mason because the last few years oh my gosh not very good so it's good and i think his spring team too i think his coach is going to be good too good it's good it's good it's good I think I'll be able to finish this oh it's 11 11 11 is our is our favorite number Mason his number is 11 he's going to be 11 years old this year my daughter just bought a house and the number on the house is 11. <laughs> We're like, okay, this is, this is a sign, you know? Like his mom bought a house and it's number 11. I don't have the why, so I'm not gonna be doing the whys of this and I'm okay with that. I'll just do it next time. I might do the fours over there instead and just keep the Ys. I just don't feel like going to get the extra diamonds because what I plan on doing is when I do this, I might lift all the jars and see how low they are and refill all the ones that are low. You know, I'm not going to go all through that trouble for one color. So I'm gonna do a few of them. I'm not going to their practice tonight. So by the time Dave's gonna get home, it's gonna be like seven. So I have a long day to get a lot of things done. You know what? I might I know we have our supper done for tonight, but I might prep. Mm -mm. No, because the veggies, I don't want them to stay in the fridge. They might be okay overnight though. The only thing is the potatoes, but I could cut those tomorrow. So I could do everything but the potatoes No, the mushrooms too might turn. I'll wait till tomorrow. I'll wait till tomorrow. I was gonna say I could make something else, but we need to use those veggies, so. We need to eat what needs to be eaten so it doesn't go bad. Groceries is expensive enough. You don't want to throw things out. And that's another reason why, you know, I stop going to practices because gas is so bloody expensive. Where last year, Dave worked from home. 
So, I mean, we had to go in anyway, but right now he works, he has to work from, he has to go to work three times a week. So he might as well do two of the days that are hockey practices so that, you know, we don't waste gas, right? So, and he's taking the car in because it's cheaper on gas than the truck. One of these has a burr. Yeah, those two, they're connected. So whatever way you need to save money, right? So I'd rather see his games than his practices. I still, you know, there's a couple times that I went. Like last week, Katie needed my help. So I went and I stayed at her house until it was time for practice. And then I went and got him and took him to practice and stuff. So, so I saw him practice last week. One or two times, I can't remember. So that was good. I don't know, I might, nah. I probably won't go on Thursday because tomorrow I have a massage, so I'm gonna have to go in for that. And then the NHL prospects are playing here tomorrow night and we have tickets, so. We're gonna go see that. So we're gonna to have to go in again for that. Okay, that was number four. What's number four? I have too many containers on my table right now. Too many containers. Okay, I think I might finish that little section too and then we're gonna call it good. Um, let's do this. What is this? That is uh, container 21, and it's DMC 642. Oh, I almost dumped that right on my table instead of, because <laughs> it moved at the last second. DMC 642, I think I didn't finish. I'm so bad at that, not finishing my sentences. I talk too fast. My brain finished it, but not my mouth. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm excited to go see the NHL prospect. Like if that would have been here last year, we would have seen Connor Bedard, right? So it's all the top players that are trying for NHL from Canada, which is awesome. So we're pretty excited to go see that. It'll be fun. It's going to be full, though. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be full. 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 It's like New Year's Eve. We wanted to go on New Year's Eve because we're like, oh, it'll be a nice, you know, it was four to seven or whatever, I guess. And it, they sold out. That's never happened. So we'll do the arrow down. Is it an arrow down? Yeah, an arrow down. I've never done that one before, so number 30. And I guess what happened was a company bought 3,000 tickets and gave it to, they gave them all the way to the less fortunate and stuff, which is awesome, but we didn't get any tickets. Apparently they were given some out at the door and Dave missed it. <laughs> too, because they couldn't, you know, they weren't able to give them all away beforehand, so they were giving some out at the door. It's too bad, but oh well. Uh, they had a blast. They skated for eight hours, so it's not as if they... So this one right here, it's that sign right there, which is 498, which is container 16. I don't think I've done this one either. Ooh, this is the books that are starting. Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I did part of a book over here, but this book is nice and colorful. Okay. 
That was a lot of uh, di diamonds. <laughs> okay, and the next one is number, the container 18. And it's DMC 600. And that's where, no, we're going to do the peas. We're going to do the peas, and then next time we'll probably finish this. And then that big, maybe we'll finish it all. Who knows? That went really quickly this time. Really quick. So this is good. Good, good, good. Okay. I'm gonna start to probably next week now, now that uh, Lexi was really having a really hard time going to sleep. Like the only way she would sleep is in my daughter's arms. Well, you can't function on no sleep. So um, I was going over and letting her sleep during the day. And I mean, I took her an afternoon because then they moved her crib in her own room and stuff. And they've since sleep trained her and she's doing really good. Like now she's waking up at midnight and five o'clock in the morning. So hello, that's good. <laughs> and she's going to bed at eight. So um, much better. It's going to take a week or so before my daughter gets to sleep because now she's having anxiety <laughs> because she's not in the room with her. But she's getting at least a few hours sleep now. So, um, I was, you know, just doing a few videos and then I rushed over by noon or 11 or whatever. And then I would stay there some days till five. So she could sleep and I would, you know, help her out. So I might go next week, one of the days. I still want to see the baby. I was going to go on Friday, but now there's hockey, so I won't be able to. Oh, wow. That, I came around that corner really quickly. There's quite a few gaps. I think they fixed their diamonds, so now the diamonds fit a little better together. And I know it's because there's a light right now, so... It's, um, you know, you see through the light, so I'm not going to worry too much about it. You know what? I'm going to finish this. The peas going up there. And then we'll call it good. And it's not going to be quite an hour, I don't think, or just an hour. I just, I can't remember what time I started. But I am happy with the progress I did today. I am going to love this one, I think. Oh, my finger stuck to the canvas. Um, I'm going to love putting that behind my reading chair. We're going to stop it here, I think. We're going to finish those two. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. If you're into diamond painting, scrapbooking, cooking, all those crafty things. <laughs> and if you're enjoying these videos, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. And I want to thank you so much for watching. Bye.